I am the Supreme Patriarch. The County of Sylvania was once a former Imperial province of the Empire. Much of its territory has been absorbed by Stirling. It's seen as a backwater, cursed place that no sane person would go to intentionally. It's adjacent to the halfling-controlled moot, known to be quite fertile and rich in its lands, and no halflings ever go to Sylvania. To the mountains nearby, you have Jufmar, but the dwarfs again avoid Sylvania. It's a foreboding land, surrounded in mist and darkness. It's littered with bogs, swamps, and marshes, and the woods filled with evil creatures. To the north, the River Stir provides a border with Ostermark. To the south, Sylvania stops at a barren place claimed by Averland, but currently held by Sterland. To the southwest is the Mootland, a narrow border that is controlled by halfling field wardens. It is also here that we find the von Karstein bloodline, the ruler of these superstitious backwards people. Now let's talk about Tolman Schwartz, who will be featured in our final battle of today's part. He was born near the frigid shores of Nordland. Little is known of his early life. It is said that his mother was a victim of predations by a Norsekin raider, and that he was found as an infant at the edge of the Drakwald forest. The man has never spoken of his past, speaking little at all. What is known about him is his fierce dedication and loyalty to the Empire, so much so that he is one of the first ones to volunteer for Geld's campaign, and that is a celestial wizard lord by our patron King Potato. Now let's move on to the game. We have a multitude of enemies presented before us right now. At Grinstadt, currently Gelt is looking at three enemy Vampire Count armies. Sure, one is quite minor, but that is still another Lord. Here is a level 31 Vampire Lord, my god. Manfred is a bit higher, though he's been quite damaged. Good. Fire Lord Hans Weiser is still waiting. Over here, we have Elector Count Fierenberg II. Everyone is getting ready to invade Sylvania. It'll take time to conquer it all, but indeed, we shall do that. Before we move on, we still need to build up our newest army. It's imperative that we do so right now. We have our Celestial Lord. He's a good fellow. Tolman Schwartz, the Enlightened. Then we have Johan and Garen of the Hammer. A mighty troop indeed. Okay, so what are we going to give them? I would like some War Wagon Mortars for sure. I would like quite a few of those, actually. I think that would be a lot of fun to utilize them in combat. We could get some free company militiamen. We do need more units to hold up our front lines. More swordsmen wouldn't hurt. Some more great swords wouldn't hurt either. But then we need some ranged units too. So we'll take up some handgunners. There we go. We can take one more ranged unit. We'll take a regiment of crossbows. I think that'll really bounce out the entire troop. Then they'll be ready for combat. Now, we need to upgrade Helmgart. Every fort we own needs to be better than it was. Solund, what about you? Well, we can look at you later. For now, the Black Mountains need to be upgraded too. We'll build a coaching inn. Every location that we have is relatively happy. Now, Fire Lord, we need to consider where we want to go now. There's a major undead army for you to fight. You do not have lightning strike, so we do need to be mindful of where we're going and how we're doing it. I could just have you charge in, and we could say screw that and go fight anyway. I mean, we do have Jean fighting. Oh, Burned, your army is actually not bad. You've got a Mortis engine, a Vargulf, those are tough. You've got Fell Bats, Crypt Horrors, you've got Grave Guard, Standard Undead, Mounted Units too. Oh, this should be good. Let's go fight now. And Jean has got to fight two lords who are at a much higher level than he is. It is now time for the Battle of the Moot. We're not quite in the Moot, but we're near it. Now, our captain and Jean Fierenberg are charging out to attack Manfred. Their vanguard has a Mortis engine, two groups of Black Knights, a Vargulf, zombies, and other warriors too. Their reinforcing army is much larger. That'll be on the way now, causing issues for all of us here. They have another flying lord on the way right now. We're currently fighting Manfred, though. That Vargulf was hit by our cannon and did not get back up. It looks like every single cannonball hit him. Amazing. At least three out of four. But here they are now attacking Manfred. I wonder which one might be more challenging, Manfred or that other zombie lord. Well, not zombie lord, but vampire lord on a zombie dragon. There we go. There's a Mortis engine where our cannon is now targeting that engine. 
hoping to destroy it quickly before it hits our lines. If we can do that, we'll be in a much better position. So here's my plan right now. To use all my infantry to stimmy their advance, our cannon will continue to hit whatever it's able to. Our few ranged units will shoot up their units, then our infantry will advance in front of them. We've got a Hell Blaster Volley Gun in our War Wagon, still dealing more damage. They'll be attacking knights or whatever comes close by. Manfred is moving away right now, but he'll be back. There's that Blasted Mortis engine. One more hit and it'll be gone. You can see right now that the captain and our general, our Electric Count, I should say, is still fighting Manfred. That'll be a long battle yet. They're doing a lot of damage. Over here is where we have Black Knights attacking, but Magister Lubin has debuffed them with a Curse of the Midnight Wind, reducing their overall capability to deal damage and, of course, reducing their armor as well. It looks like we have beaten them. Now our handgunners can hit Manfred. He's exposed over here, right in the middle of our line of fire. He's not going to last for much longer now. Zombies close by were hit. Our Hellblaster Volley Gun has hit a Crypt Ghoul's Horde, damaging them. But there goes Manfred, attempting to summon in zombies, but it looks like he's been slain, or at least wounded. Don't get back up. You're a mess, man. But here comes another Vampire Lord attacking. We've got to take it out, and we've had one cannon misfire, so that's three cannons left right now. There's all of our gunners currently shooting at their Lord, but he's moving quickly. He's using a flock of doom to damage our units. We have some units moving over here on the left flank, but we have more that we need to worry about on the right flank. There's two groups of knights and a Mortis engine on the way. There are crypt horrors too, and a Vargulf as well, in addition to Felbats. So it's a much larger army than before. So now our infantry is currently moving ahead of all of our gunners. So here they come. Felbats attacking. Here comes a Vargulf. My infantry is currently moving in. There's summoned zombies attacking as well. Hopefully our handgunners can take out everything large and awful. Let's go look over here real quick. So those two will be fighting that lord for quite some time. They're taking a lot more damage. Manfred was much easier. The Hellblaster Volley Gun will get into position again to attack. These fell bats are a huge pain. We have our handgunners getting into position. We have another group over here shooting fell bats. And these knights, Black Knights and Varric's Reavers, are currently moving around. Here's the Black Knights. Over here are Varric's Reavers. 16 kills is what they have currently. They still have more units on the way too. Our cannon is still attacking, destroying a lot of them. I probably should have had my cannon go after maybe a cart or even that Vampiris who's currently heading towards our lines. But we still have not yet beaten their lord. You can see that Felbats have attacked too. The Hellblaster Volley Gun has 59 kills and they're currently moving into a new position. Here's our first company, Gilded Blades, who are currently holding right now. Our great swords are taking way too much damage. They're dealing with a lot right now. Crypt Horrors and all of it. Let's go look over here. So it looks like we've got some issues heading our way. Not only do we have these Black Knights over here, we have Varric's Reavers who are charging in right into our ranged units. My god, that damage is staggering. But now every handgunner will target them. Magister Lubin will stimmy that advance by those knights. And over here is where we're still dealing with that Vampire Lord who's dealing a lot of damage. 71 kills by our Hellblaster Volley Gun. We still have more to destroy. Our poor great swords are being really torn down. We have another group over here, Second Company, Furenberg Frontline, who are attacking. And it looks like Varric's Reavers are falling apart right now. On the right flank, they're still fighting. There's Black Knights too. Our cannon has 99 kills right now. The Reavers are coming back in, but they're being shot up. They're caught in a crossfire. They were trying to rally up, but now they've been beaten down. Good work, Lubin. You did it, my friend. That's one victory for us here. Let's have a look over here now. On the left flank, it looks like our captain is having to leave. 115 for health and he does not have immortality. He will die if he's hit again. One more stray hit and he's gone. He's done for. That captain is still alive. It looks like Jean is barely holding up right now. My God, the damage is so different. Really, it is. Jean is moving away. Zombie dragons hit very hard. We just need to get rid of him. And it's over for him. And he falls to the ground. That vampire lord has been slain. Jean Furenberg charges back into combat despite only having 1,400 health left right now. Remember, he had over 2,000 just a moment ago. That's how much damage that zam that vampire, <laughs> that vampire lord on a dragon does. 
Let's go look over here. These Black Knights have only 18 left. They've killed 71. That's a lot of dead men. But our men have won that battle. They're going to chase them away. If we look over here at what's happening, we're still holding them back. Our great swords are just really being killed. Fierenberg's finest have 120 kills and more now. They've already taken out a lot of them. They're shooting point blank, taking out Graveguard, who are attacking them. At every location, we're using our hand gunners to destroy them. That Hellblaster volley gun is obliterating anything that's coming after us right now. They have a large grouping of undead right over here. On the left flank is where we're losing our poor greatswords. Here comes more Graveguard. They're hitting my Golden Crosshairs, who have nearly 100 kills. We have a few groups who broke. They'll be back in combat momentarily. Jean is having to watch. He's only at 375 health right now, and he's also not immortal. Let's go look over here at Fierenberg's Finest. They're still shooting up a group that outnumber my poor swordsmen. But, again, the bullets are winning. You thought your magic could win, but no, no. The bullets are winning. Now there's a group of... Ooh, special criticals. Okay, a regiment of renown. Now it's time to hit them, too. Not a problem. We'll shoot them all up. They're running, though. They're going. There goes our infantry attacking them, too. Our handgunners are now going after other targets. It looks like we only have a few left. This one large group. And over here is a Strigoi Gold King fighting my poor Halberds. Still going for that. But now everyone has caught these undead in a crossfire. They're just being chewed down, mowed down. Turned into undead fleshy mulch by my ranged units. Handgunners and Hellblaster Volley Gun. It's effective. It does well. And so now that battle is over. About to be. First Company, Nolan's Tithe, 183 kills. It's a lot of kills over here for Second Company, Guild of Blades, 111. For our handgunners, the Nolan Ironsides, 55, and now it's over. That battle is now won. Jean was nearly wounded. Our captain was nearly killed. But we did manage to hold on. Unfortunately, our rank squad were wiped out and a group of our spearmen. They fought hard. They fought well. Look at how many were taken out, though, in one battle. We lost over 1,000 good men. We'll have to come back now and get some more infantrymen. Here we go. You defeated Manfred, so now you lose less men whenever fighting the undead. Minus 50% to attrition damage. He who quenches his thirst on the blood of the living will find cold steel his just reward. Good attacker. A new trade for him, giving him more leadership when attacking and a larger leadership or size, encouraging his men even more. Let's get the hell out of here. It's about time. Okay, Captain, rank 20. Immortality. Wow, you would have died. You were like one hit away from dying. Pretty crazy. I am Prince now, Carl, I could push you in here, but I'm not going to. Fire Lord, are you coming? Oh, indeed you are. Come on down, my friend. Come on down. Stop them. Now, I've already beaten your army. I don't need to beat you again. That was a major battle. I can't believe we won. I could give it back to Sterling, but you know what? I feel like I deserve it. You're right, I do. Camp Follower, Forbidden Rod. We've got Paved Roads. Okay. We need a bit more than that. I'm going to get rid of the Rally Field and or the Training Field and the Roads too. Well, you know what? We'll keep the Roads for now only because of the movement range. I could use that. We'll take Sigmaric Dogma. We need to get rid of all that corruption here. Okay, at your rank, what are we going to give you now? We'll put a point over here into the Burning Head as we're fighting undead. It's a great way to damage all of them. That should do a decent amount of damage. And Magnus for you. We'll put a point into Impassioned. 44 melee defense, a bit better than before. Oh, Man Flayers are here. Well, not on my lands, thankfully. Incursion over at Auchendorf. Yeah, that happens a lot, but usually the dwarves nearby take them out, and they did again. Well, thank you for that. Okay, Gelt. You? You've completed every quest. We made sure to get all of his loot, all of his good stuff. Now it's time to go to Shortshaven. Sure, we lose some, but we've got to move now. I still have some money. But it's still a big debate for what I need next. I could increase a cap for a few other units, so that'll probably be our goal. And I think we're largely done for right now outside of moving our alchemist. 
it's still time for him to move around. Man, I hate you, Wood Elves. Why are you here? Go home. To hell. <laughs> Go to hell, is what I meant to say. All right. Let's get ready now. We've got a bit more to push into Sylvania with. We took the moot back, but we don't actually have any of Sylvania proper. Not yet. Now we are defending the moot. We're here. Look at it. Check it out. I can't wait to play some halflings. That's going to be a strange one. But they have a group called the Fighting Cocks, and we're going to be cocky about it and fight everyone. That's going to be our goal probably whenever we play the halflings. But anyway, we're here now. We've got only a few enemies in that initial army that are coming towards us. And you're going to watch some interesting tactics from our Fire Lord. The Crypticals are moving in. Grenade launchers are effective against Undead. Who knew? We also have our war wagons and our pistoliers. I mean, that's a lot of firepower putting in the work today. It's like a group of golems sprinting away. Oh, they're nearly all gone. And over here we have a master necromancer, some crazy old man. So look at how I'm using all of my mobile units right now. No matter where they go, they're being shot. That's the goal right now is to make sure that we're not being caught in melee combat, but they can't catch us. They can chase us, but they can't catch us. We'll go over our formation in just a minute because we're still watching our units gain more and more kills. I mean, look at that. These crypt ghouls, you don't have an arm. What are you doing? Get back over here. No, they're still moving. They haven't given up yet. While that is going on, other units are going after the Master Necromancer. We also have a Blood Dragon Lord who's currently attacking. Sure, he'll get a few kills, right? But he's unable to catch us. He's being shot up. That Pistolier is now gone. I feel bad for him. I'm very sorry, young man, but your life was not lost in vain. Everyone shot that Blood Dragon Lord. Look at that. He's dropping so quickly. He's unable to get that many kills anyway. They're just coming at him and he's just being shot up. You're seeing all these little bullets flying through the sky. It's beautiful. See, because I'm focusing on playing and not just like showing off the battle as I like to do, because I love to watch the battles. If I didn't care about graphics, then why would I play the game? I'll play some other game. And he's down. But I'm able to better micromanage my units when I'm able to focus on that. So that's how I'm doing what I'm doing now. It's a lot of clicking, trust me. But it works out very well when they can't catch you. I mean, he caught up for a brief moment. But look at him. He's not doing well. That old man is like, yeah. I like anchovies. Yeah, and that's why you're dying. And he's out of here. The necromancer is dead. You've got some skinny legs, man. That's what you get for skipping leg day. Let's go look over here now. It's finally time to look at our formation. So we're coming over here to defend this one hill in the moot. There's a river, meaning that our enemies should move a little bit slower through it. Our hangers will be up here. We have some black knights charging in right now. That's okay. We have our lords also attacking. Ah, warrior priest fighting too. Indeed, he shall do a good job. Is there a Fire Lord close by? Those knights fell apart. They were shot into hell. Uh, let's go look over here. We have more units on the way like Graveguard. They have a large army still on the way. We're not quite done with the battle just yet. They still outnumber me, but we have our infantry moving in. Our handgunners will be on the hill. And we're going to use our other mobile units to just kind of harass and to flank where they can. Our bordermen, these outriders who have grenade launchers, have over 30 kills. They're about to get a lot more. You've got to be so careful, too, whenever you're using your mobile units because there can be friendly fire. I'm sure I had some here. Yeah, I could see it right now. So there was some friendly fire. And that's really unfortunate. If I was more careful, if I'd seen that, then those two guys would not be dead right now. But they're still doing a lot of damage, and I'm doing my best to be mindful of that. We do reduce a lot of friendly fire by doing what I'm doing right now, which is spreading them out. If you let them overlap, they'll shoot each other. I thought that maybe with the war wagon they would shoot over their heads, but I guess not. These Grave Guard are being hit pretty hard. Most of them are now gone. There's not too many left. Let's have a look over here right now. These Black Knights are about to be on the way. They'll be charging up the hill, I'm sure of it. 
And here come so many more of them right now. Those grenade launchers are working hard. We're currently shooting at those farm guys. They're flying units. Animalistic bestial vampires who are attempting to tear our soldiers to shreds. You can't even see them. You can just see their blades. But either way, they need to go. And there's a burning head spell burning right through their zombies. They're lightly armored, so that's a great way to destroy them all. And there they go. Many undead weakened. They're chasing our war wagons, but again, they can't really catch up to us. So the war wagons are leaving. I learned how to use these guys over in Lestria. I'm a veteran, baby. And while that's going on, the rest of them are attacking our lines. They're all charging in, trying to overwhelm us. There's my captain intercepting one group. We've buffed up with a cascading fire cloak, another group of infantry on the right flank. We have some black knights too, and other units who will probably move in momentarily, but our halberds are holding right now. And we have infantry in reserve, so you can see how the battle is playing out. We've got our grenade launchers. We have our fire lord is currently in the middle of all of it. I'm sure he'll use another burning head in time. There's our warrior priest too, also fighting. We have other officers here. We'll have to try to point them out. It's like a Where's Waldo event. Where's the witch hunter? But here comes a burning head. Moving right through them. Oh, man. Over 200 kills, but here comes more undead enemies. And you can see where I'm defending right now. Those bar guys were shot to hell. My pistoliers and war wagons beat them. My grenade launchers are still taking out this group of zombies. Let's, let's go look at our kills real quick. 91 for my grenade launchers, for my pistoliers, 46 to 53. For my war wagons, 63. And over here, 49. And that'll only go up. Our lord has 248 for kills, and we still have more to fight. We're not yet done fighting, so we still have a lot more to deal with. There's our warrior priest and everyone all fighting together. We're holding the line right now. The moot will be safe. Our delicious food will be safe. I mean, they were given our lands partially due to their good food, so it's got to be good. These black knights charged in, and they were trying to stop us, but now they're completely encircled. They can't get out. They're about to be stabbed into nothing. So what are we doing now? Well, first off, we're going to be buffing up this group over here on the right flank, this Halberdier's Regiment. They're getting kills, but they're taking a lot of damage. So they're being buffed up by a Cascading Fire Cloak. Now these War Wagons are being moved right behind our enemies. So are our Pistoliers. They're going to hit everyone from behind, popping some heads today. Those handgunners are still attacking. We've killed a lot of them. We have more to take down. There's our warrior priest still attacking. That's Magnus the Scarred at over 60 kills. He's still attacking and doing a good job. Let's go over here and check out what's happening. So now we're just overlapping some fields of fire. I mean, everyone is attacking together now in unison. Grenade launchers, pistoliers, war wagons, everyone. We're wreaking havoc right now. We're destroying what's left of their zombies. And sure, there might be a little bit of friendly fire, but largely we're doing okay. These halberdiers over here have 118 for kills and they're still alive. They're still being buffed up by our fire lord. And now there's only a few undead left. There's only one location with undead left and it's right over here. And they're all falling apart and the battle is now over. We just need to shoot what's left. But we defended the moot quite well and that's really it, my friends. That was a pretty major battle. We won over here at the moot and currently Carl is moving in too. I don't want him to take these lands at all. I would rather that he go after some other great enemy like Chaos. I mean, that's really what I need him to go after. But he's choosing to come over here. All right, very well. Take what you need to. I might not help you out. Okay, Jean, you took a beating. So now it's time for you to go back over here to Averheim. He'll be able to maintain guard and recruit new units too. We need more great swords and potentially another large group. I could give him Demigriff Knights. Even one group would make a big difference. Sure, let's do that for him. But instead, I'll choose my Demigriff Knights. Or because we're trying to fit a theme for him, we could get a Sunmaker. Because a Sunmaker would be quite good for fighting undead. I mean, they have a pretty large army of lightly armored or unarmored units. Magister Lubin Siegfried. We'll put a point over into Curse of the Midnight Wind. Now it's at rank 2. He'll be ready in how many turns? About 3 or 4. Yeah. Again, his army took a beating. Now, Gelt, let's come over here. We've got more to conquer. An easy location to take over. It now belongs to the Golden Order. Vincer's Blades, I'll give that over to another agent. And for you, Fire Lord Hans. Let's give your Captain Adra Gloomfang a point into Woundbanker. 
That way he's able to deal even more damage. Now you can go over to the nearby fort. I don't want Carl to take it. It should belong to me, not to Carl. Come on, Carl. I'm busy over here gaining new lands. We'll occupy that location too. Well, the Fire Lord is doing a great job. I gained a scribe, providing 8% more campaign movement. Helmut Gorst is back. He's got quite a few Graveguard. Okay, we shall upgrade Migdal. We'll put in a guardhouse. I don't need a training field out here. I really do not. So we'll get rid of that. When it comes to my other armies, I suppose I just need to wait. Three more turns to go, then we'll have another army. It was meant to be a slightly more religious one, but that might work out for now. Flagellant hordes would be quite nice. And I really do enjoy my war wagons a lot. I find them to be very good. Their range is great. Their damage is great. They might be better, in my view, than Pistoliers. Okay, he's on his way now. I don't believe there's much more for me to conquer. There's really only gold for me to spend and points to spend, too. There's another point into the Burning Head. I mean, he did kill over or destroy over 200 undead in our previous battle. Averland, what do you need? Coron? Better walls? Yeah, sure. We'll upgrade anything that we can. For the moot... Oh, no, we do need that. Hold on. Let me go back to the mootland. We have a landmark here. The Grand Cauldron, the Halfling's diminutive stature, mass a ravenous appetite, and as you might expect, highly developed culinary skills. As such, their cauldrons bubble day and night, providing more growth, public order, wine, and spices too. Ooh, plus four to Untainted, and a garrison of plus two crossbowmen. I still need more gold. We'll save up for that on our following turn. Yeah, we can wait. Okay, we're good in Vildorf. Now it's time to end our turn. Look at that. Fire Lord Hans Weiser is trying to move on to conquer more lands. We have another roadblock. Jacob Jaeger and Martin von Karstein. I killed you, or maybe not. Oh, you're at a lower level now. Interesting. Well, now let's go fight another battle. We might be able to gain some new rare equipment from him whenever we kill Jacob Jaeger. Oh, I hate his beady little rat eyes. It's a fairly foreboding battle. Right now, our Pistoliers are moving out to scout ahead. They need to find out what our enemies are like and what they're bringing to the table. So here they have over here a Necrarch Vampire Lord, one of the many bloodlines of vampires out there. Here we have Graveguard moving in, a lot of elite units who are moving in. So what can we do? We can try to diminish their movement speed by letting them move into the water where they move a little bit slower. So that's where we're putting up our formation right now. We're going to have some handgunners right in the middle, right between some infantrymen. We're going to have some infantry in reserve too. And all of our lords will move right over here. Raphael. Everyone's here. Adric Gloomfang. Magnus. And the Fire Lord. He's done a good job at fighting. He's done a very good job. Everyone here has. You can see how well we've done together. But we have more to do. Now what about those Pistoliers? They're moving back right now. Black Knights are just as fast. I'm not really sure how that works out. We should be more lightly armored than Black Knights. But they have a speed of 80 as well. And Felbats are much faster. But, again, the issue is, once they try to attack you in the very beginning, they tend to stop moving as much. So my Pistoliers are moving away and getting some shots in. They're just going to keep on relocating, taking out some bats. You're going to watch some bats fall as we move away. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Shoot these bats up. They're batty. They're crazy. They're flapping over to you. You can see how much damage they've already taken. And our boys are still okay. They're still moving. They haven't stopped yet. There's still more undead on the way. I mean, these are giant bats that they're having to flee from. That one guy just shot one of them. I don't think he got back up or did it. No, he got it. Good job. A few more are falling from the sky. If we look at how many they have left right now, it's still 48. But they've taken so much damage that with a concentrated volley, they'll fall apart. They are still moving towards us. 17 kills, 0 kills for the other group. 22 now. The Firebats are falling 
fire by its fell bats are falling apart on the right flank is where we have our grenade launchers and our war wagons too we're currently attacking some dire wolves and we'll probably lose a few just due to them hitting our poor grenade launchers and over here is that necrock lord who for whatever reason is moving in he's like i read books no one cares no one cares about your books there's some black knights who charged in on the left flank fell bats are still moving in going after my handgunners right now those blasted bats are now done for. They only killed five of our pistoliers. Over here is where we've lost a few of our grenade launchers, but now our spearmen are moving in. We have 22 kills with our grenade launchers. Our war wagons are now moving around, trying to elude our enemies while shooting them. Here comes another attack by a group of black knights. My god, the issue is stark and overwhelming. But here they come now. The Black Knights are now attacking. We have anti-large capabilities. These Black Knights do not really have much of a chance. We're still going to keep on hitting them. And while they're attacking that group, we still have our handgunners over here right in the middle. who are going to obliterate whatever's coming at them. The grenade launchers are still attacking, going through some zombies. We have war wagons who are currently attacking that Von Karstein vampire lord. This guy has no chance. He's trying to catch up to them. Martin. And you can see where they're all moving in. We got a fireball hitting right through a group, taking down a few of them. We got some more black knights on the way, but we have so many infantrymen that we can just counter whatever we need to. Our damage output is so high that we're just able to counter and hold still if we so choose to, and we do choose to. So over here again, a war wagon currently taking out Martin. Martin is running away. He's at nearly, oh no, under 1,000 health now. So he's just being shot up. These war wagons are doing a great job at stopping him. He's trying. He's like, oh, evocation of the heck. What the heck? He's at 500 health left right now. Let's just watch this guy go away. Again, all due to war wagons. An entire Lord unit wiped out. He's trying to follow them. That's going to be frustrating. He's like, damn you, circular technology. Damn you. I'm sure you'll get to them. Oh, he's trying so hard and it's over for him. All right, let's go back to the main battle. So what's happening right now? We have some infantry that's currently just all blobbed up on the left flank. If you look at the knights, they're still moving behind trying to charge in, but we have enough infantry to, to really cover that. Over here on the right flank, we have some grenade launchers who are under attack right now by zombies, but that is okay. They have over 100 kills. Our pistoliers at 21 and 45. Our leaders are all fighting together. I had them go after one group of Graveguard. I had a feeling they could fight together and win. It's a fairly dark battle, and I do understand that, but I didn't want to kind of like ruin the overall mood of this battle. It's meant to be kind of hard to see right and i usually stop that i increase brightness but anyway handgunners are now moving behind his grave guard about to shoot them the hell up more of them are falling apart we're still attacking this one group of grave guard there's 61 of them there's zombies right behind them too there's now under 50 of them the pistoliers have them so again, my tactical advantages are working out. We have a cascading fire cloak buffing up our melee defense and increasing our armor piercing damage over here while they are attacked by some black knights. They're still holding out and defending against all of them. And over here is another attack by black knights. But again, we have too many infantry men. And so we're able to hold. I mean, look at my formation. There's a burning head that is blazed right through the enemy's formation. But again, it's almost like a circular formation that we had going on. If we go look over here, all of my more mobile units are moving after the tithe destroying them so we're getting a lot of kills and over here is where they've all fallen apart so now the battle is over we've won the battle there's only just a few knights left just barely any knights left at all they're still moving i'm nearly proud of you kids i'm nearly proud of you the tithe has been wiped out most of my units have a lot of kills. There's only some Black Knights who are left. We're filling up that spot right now. While they attack, they're just going to fall apart now. They charge in, so they're just being spiteful. They're just getting a few kills to be spiteful. What they do best. Bunch of punks. It's not very much appreciated. Just so you know. 21 kills, 22. My guys. I mean, these are spearmen here. 22 kills, 23 pretty comparable they're crumbling they're moving now it's crazy how they're still going usually a unit like that would have fallen apart already 
But our lords are now attacking too. I'm sure a few of them are going to be yeeted away by the dark powers of Nagash. They've charged in again. Our lords are also here. Well, our lord and heroes. Got to use the proper nomenclature. Ooh, look at them. Glowy hammer stick. But it's over now. We've won. That was a good battle too. We keep using our more mobile units to completely eviscerate them. They can't really do much. They're a bunch of slow one dead, which works in my favor. I told you, Felix, you didn't have a chance. What's his name again? Anyway. Empire Hunter for Fire Lord Hans. Plus three to leadership whenever fighting the undead. I've taken out a lot of undead. It's pretty crazy because I'm also playing as Musion right now in our season two where we're invading the Empire. Don't tell Carl. Don't tell Carl about what I write in my diary. He's like, you've killed who now? What do you want, Sterling? A non-aggression pact. Well, I don't want to fight you. I do want you to join me, though we're pretty far from that. I haven't really gotten too many events for Sterling. Otherwise, maybe they would be part of my faction by now. Carl is losing a lot. I really wonder what's going to happen whenever he's got to fight the Wood Elves again. He's not going to win. He doesn't have all of his armies over there. Maybe if he was fighting like only one faction at a time, he would have a shot at it. Oh, you know what that means. Here they come, the Grand Chaos Invasion. Has come, my lord. Look who it is. They might not even reach me. Who knows? They're so outdated, right? They are, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all about them. I've been dealing with that guy for a very long time. Here comes Erwin. Come on down, my friend. Come on down. Now, what I would like over here... Imperial Academy would always be nice to have, but I need an engineer's workshop if I want to get a Luminarch. Not that I really want one, but hey... Might as well have something. Now, I have a lot of money, so I'll get rid of my Tailor's Guild over here and get a Armory instead. Finally, Solon will be decked out. I've been waiting for that to happen for a very long time. Oh, look at that corruption go up. That's really unfortunate. Gelt, it's time for you to go to Drakenhof. Alright, we will need to build up our siege engines if we want to take it, or we would lose way too many in that battle. Oh, darn it, you took Eshin from me. They're taking everything before I can reach it. I did the bulk of the fighting, and here they are, taking my lands. Well, hold on. We might not need to actually fight that battle out. We might have broken them already. There we are. It's only a garrison, so I'm not really too keen on dealing with that right now. But we will occupy Drakenhof. I now own their capital, meaning that we can have a... Ooh, hello, a Book of Assure. It's a lot of magic. Plus 15. Ooh, and over here is a gold mine. 1,200 gold. I like that. Don't mind if I do. I'll take a Shrine of Sigmar because, hey, you know, for Sigmar, I'll take a Night Watch to reduce any public order issues. And that should do it for right now. Let's have a look over here. Rank 10. Good for you, pal. We'll put a point over here into Evasion. Then, Flamestorm. I mean, that would be alright, I suppose. Let's try Piercing Bolts of Burning. <laughs> I get it. It burns a lot, okay? We'll give it a go. Focusing all of his mystical might, the Pyromancer strikes the foe with a flurry of incandescent missiles. What about you, Raphael? We'll put a point over here into Counter Striker. There we go. And for Captain Adric, Gloomfang. Wound Maker rank 3, giving him more damage at rank 10 for Magnus. We'll give him Fave Sebastian. There's some damage resistance as well. For our commandments, what do we need? Public order. Clearly so, my god. We have a farm. Good. I mean, we could use a bit of extra growth, so we'll keep that for now. Okay, Jean. You can finally pick up Stand Your Ground. You can buff up your soldiers whenever you fight with them nearby. Where do we need to attack now? Well, the dwarves might need to be fought. The wood elves might need to be destroyed. Reichland is largely okay. We do have chaos to contend with. We could go invade Norska. So there are a few ideas on what we could do. But for now, I need to finish off what's left of the vampire counts. We need to take Karag Jomar, Jufbar, Oakenhammer. All of that. It needs to belong to me. Sure, it's the mountains, but evidently we can go there just fine. Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, Counts, come on over here. We need to get you to Krog. 
I'll come over to town first because, you know, they're very unhappy. They're unhappy in the mood, too. We need a bit of time to consolidate and hold on to our lands because, again, they're just all very angry right now. Oh, here we go. A pottery maker. Cheaper buildings and more money. Nordland, what are you doing? We don't have time for a civil war. I could stop them. But maybe they need to be defeated. Ooh, Skaven are over here. But again, the dwarves have destroyed them. Now that war isn't really my fault. Who's going to be the Elector Count of Sylvania? That would give me Schallberg's letter. Plus five to untainted. Double experience gain for units when fighting against Vampire Counts, Vampire Coast, and Tomb Kings. Immune Psychology, plus four to leadership when fighting against Vampire Counts. Wow. I'll really have to consider that. We'll need another leader. Now, Marius, again, trust me, he provides a penalty to anything that you do when it comes to trying to, you know, have public order. He's a crazy man. One day we'll play as him, but not today. Okay, Gel, we're going to Jufmar because we need to. Fire Lord, you're going to Oakenhammer, even though you're losing a lot due to attrition. We've got to conquer everything. I've got to destroy the undead who are here. Here's an iron mining pit, giving me more money. Not bad. I could use another shrine of Sigmar. Ooh, here we go, a coaching inn. You know what, a coaching inn is probably a pretty good idea. I'm gonna take that. We're gonna take some walls too. We're not done with building just yet. What else could we use while we're out here? Well, we have a lot already. I don't really need a tier three building, but we'll keep it. It'll increase the cap for certain units and that's always a nice thing to have. Let's look around real quick. Anyway, back over to the Fire Lord. He's going to Oakenhammer to occupy that location too. An easy win. They only have a minor garrison. I've already beaten the major armies of the Vampire Counts. I had a little bit of help, sure. Now, Furenberg, you'll be there in one more turn. Then we'll finally have everything that we need. Oh, hello. You're not quite gone. Metastone. You're a Big rat. I haven't seen one of your kind in a while. Now, Nordland, again, I want our now, so we're going to head on over there. Tolman Schwartz, the Enlightened, will go enlighten the people of Nordland. They need to be taught a lesson today. I still have a lot of money. That's understandable considering all that I have. Okay, let's build up a guardhouse over here. We could upgrade Schwartzhafen. We still need to try to improve the local area. Vampire Hunter Raphael will put up one over here into Counter Striker. And for you, our Lord, our Fire Lord Hans Weiser, we'll put one over here into Earthing to reduce your miscast chance. I'm very careful with, with his spells, but I find that he does a good job at whatever I need him to do. He's pretty darn good. Yeah, we'll probably get some Arch Lector to maintain guard over here in Sylvania or do something. I haven't really decided on what I'm going to do with that yet. We do have a lot of Elector counts. I don't really want all of them. I don't want all of them under my command. But again, we shall see in time. We shall see in time. A confederation offered. Now, Talon doesn't really have much. You know what? I'll take yours. Again, only because you do not have very much left. More technology completed. And my god, there goes my money for right now. How many armies did you give me? Let's have a look now. Province secured. Indeed. We now have Talon All of it? Really? Well, no. We have Talonpime. Oslin took over everything else. Oh, man. There's Kappelberg. Krugenheim. I can't believe how many towns they added in. I'm so glad they did. I was really hoping they would. I just didn't know how many there would be. Blazing Sun Chapter House. Now we can get a few nights at a Blazing Sun. Upkeep for a lot of nightly units has gone down. Very cool. I don't need a barracks over here, do I? Not really. I need an armory, though. So we'll destroy that and get an armory. Imperial Academy. I'll keep that, too. Let's have a look at who I've picked up. Leonard? Get out, Leonard. No one wanted you here. Who else did we get? Helmet, level 31. Will I use him? I believe I will. Out of any electric count I'll use right now, it's going to be Eye Patch Man. Man, I need more armor, don't I? I probably need to give you your position back. Huh. Very well. Here's a Dawnstone. What else do you need? Crown of Command? Sure. Oh, he's only Demigriff, too. Okay, so Elector Count of Talabiklin. The Elector Count of Talabiklin is known notoriously for foul temper. They forgot a word here. For his foul temper, and he garnered great ire from his parliament of nobles, the Merchants Guild, and the various temples which contribute to the running of the Talabheim Governmental Council. So his swordsman caused fear. The upkeep for Demigriff Knights goes down by 50%. Wow. 
Bringer of Doom, so you defeated the Ice Queen, reducing enemy replenishment by 5% for local armies and their ammo by 25%. He's got some pretty good stuff. Alright, you'll have your new weapon soon, but right now you need to move. You might lose everything that you have. Do I really want your captains? Not really. Do I want you to have any of these units? I suppose you can have... A ah, just keep them. What do we have over here? Imperial Faith? Sure, we'll take that. Immune to any vampiric and chaotic attrition. And done. Hopefully Nordland doesn't defeat him, but they could. It's a possibility. I mean, he's way out there. All right. Time for you to have your position back. Enjoy. We now get one over here. Stonebreaker. A rune fang. It's really good too. Plus 44 to melee attack as a buff and it thunders enemy armor. Plus 10% to weapon strength and plus 6 to melee attack. We get a unique group of mortars. Magical attacks. Very good. And let's see here. We now produce more timber. We get more money from timber. And it enables flaming attacks. So not like a huge change, but at least we have it. I believe he only had Talibiklin left. Wow. Or sorry, Talibheim. Let's have a look around here real quick. Felix, you have a lot too. I don't really want to keep you, but I am going to bring down your men over here to Talipheim. You can give it to your Elector Count. That's really all that he has. But two additional armies got rid of all my money. My god. Okay, Adric, here is your Imperial Pegasus. Enjoy that. We need it, for sure. Who's over here? Ah, here we go. Manfred, goodbye. I've already beaten your major armies, dude. You're done for. So now we have Karag Jamar giving me more prestige. We have a new province secured. We'll take up that Sigmarite Dogma. Okay, what do we need while we're out here? A guardhouse for sure. Keep the blacksmith. Why not? We can keep that for now. Pushing a strength could be quite handy. So later you'll go after Metastone. Well, you don't really need to, I suppose. Here, we'll take up a upgraded Achendorf. It'll be tier 4. Jufbar is doing fine. What about Drakenhof? Okay, we'll upgrade that into a Temple of Sigmar to get rid of more corruption. But we're largely good now. I mean, look at what I've done. I've conquered Sylvania. Sterling is not under my command. We've got Clan Angrund, who's around. Ostamark has a lot of land. Who's over here? That would be Oslin, right? They've conquered so much. Who's over here? Would that be, yeah, Krakadrak is still alive. Who else do we have? Oslin. We've got a little bit for Hawklin. Nordlin is what we're fighting right now, so it's time for us to move to the northwest. That'll be a major one. Then we need to consider future enemies. It could be the Wood Elves. It could be other targets. I mean, it really depends on where we want to go and what we want to do, but we've done so much right now. But now we also have to contend with Chaos. If they make it to me, great. We'll fight them as an in-game goal. If they do not make it to me, then we'll have one. And I'll feel good about that. It really depends on how hard they get through our allies. All right, so we have a wall being built. Let's go over here and build up a Shrine of Sigmar, or we could even build up a Wizard's Conclave. Hey, man, more wizards, you know. But no, we'll get a shrine. It looks like we have one more battle to fight. Tolman Schwartz has gone to fight Ben Bruckert. Well, fighting our own people, that feels wrong. But they did betray the Empire, and because of that, they must be put down. Unfortunately, we're going to be very tired during this battle, so hopefully we can win. They do have a steam tank. They don't have any demigriffs, which is quite nice for me, or I would be in trouble. Let's give it a go. It's about time for me to rush my armies over to the northwest. Their Elector Count took, I believe, Gorsol, meaning that they're attacking the Wastelands right now. Here they come right now. We're fighting the Empire. My army's not really suited for that. We're going to do our best. We do have war wagons. We do have ranged units. They have more than I do. But if we can focus on them and destroy them before they can destroy us, then that would be ideal. They do have a steam tank. Fortunately, they do not have a high-leveled lord. Their electric count went after Gorsal and not after what we're looking at here. You can see how many are just being popped off before they even make it to the front lines. Our units are forming up the front lines right now. I probably should have fought in the trees. That would have been a little bit easier for me, but that is okay. I've got my wagons over here on the right flank, like our mortars. Ooh, we lost one wagon already, but they're still moving away. They're still doing some damage. But here comes the great charge now. Soland fighting Nordland. It was about time. They do not trust the Empire. They've been unhappy. They want to fight. They want to cause issues. And so we'll cause some issues. They're getting a few of my units right now. 
We've got some magic over here, or the Everland Rune Fang debuffing one enemy group, getting rid of all their melee attack, allowing our units to destroy them. Over here on the left flank is where all of our leadership is fighting a group of halberds all together. We've got some more halberds on the left flank attacking too. Accusation debuffing them just a little bit, getting rid of the armor and melee defense. I mean, they have no armor with that debuff, that debuff on them. Over here on the right flank, we have our war wagons now moving in, going after that group of hand gunners, keeping them busy. That war wagon is currently hitting some crossbowmen. And we have over here a huntsman general who has 11 kills. I'm sure he'll be getting more. So again, we're just trying to kill any range units they have. These crossbowmen have 71 kills. So they actually were pretty effective. You can see how many units they are bringing to us. And there's a wind blast whipping right through them. Now, I want you to see that I perfectly placed that wind blast to hit two groups. It did not hit any of my own men. I was very happy about that. There's our hand gunners still attacking. See, because they're on a hill, we can shoot at them instead of hitting our own soldiers. That's what I wanted to do. The mortars are still shelling their positions. The big hope is to get rid of that huntsman general as well. If we can get rid of him, they'll be less inclined to stay here. He's losing it. He's losing a lot of it. Let's go look elsewhere now. So we have some more units moving in like our lords. Over here on the left flank, we have won the battle. We're just pushing in after a few more who are trying to hold out, but most of them are already either broken or just done for as it is. They're dying. They're dying easily and quickly. The handgunners are still going. And look at that. They have some great swords. They've cut down quite a few of my units right in the middle of the battle. That's where I would put my more elites too if I had more elites. And what I do right now is a warrior priest still supporting their soldiers. Let's have a look at the battle right now. That steam tank only has 12 kills. Here's the captain at four kills. We have some handgunners now moving to flank them. They were broken in the very beginning, but they're ranged units, but now they're moving in to help out. This war wagon only has 29 kills. We need a lot of new names that we do not have right now. 61 for our other group. There's another wind blast. Again, perfectly placed. My boys are fine. Theirs are not. Now it's time to go after the empire captain. Our lords are going after him. About time to get rid of him. The war wagons are helping out. He's been debuffed by the Averland rune thing. Oh man. You just got yeeted again. Oh no, my wagon. Come on, man. You're just being rude at this point. He's nearly gone. He's just not quite gone yet. He's lingering on like a freaking just bad zit or something. All right, 31 health, man. Just one straight shot should have gotten him. Little did I know. But anyway, Steam Tank is over here. We have our Warrior Priest charging in. He's like, ah, let me hit you with my hammer. Garen of the hammer. He's all about the hammer. For most of the enemy's units, that group has 49 kills. The handgunners flanked them and killed a lot of them. We've killed most of them. We surrounded them. We took out their leadership. There's not much left. We just need to chase them down now. So the battle was won. It was bloody. It was awful. And I don't want to do it again, but I've got to now fight Nordland. I'm sure our allies might help or our vassals might help. Now the war wagons get to chase after any of their infantry who are running away. Let's have a look over here at what's left. Just one tank left. Now it's time for some handgunners to shoot it up. Then it's over. Look at all the bullets. It's over. We won. We won that battle. I can tell my current build is not going to do well against a more, well, experienced army. One that has Timmy Groves or other units too. I mean, maybe it could. I do have a lot of infantry, a lot more than I normally would put into one army. But they won. Your very first battle, killing your own brethren. Well, I mean, you have like a unifier here. You're part of the Empire, but they are from a different area and they did betray us, which should just make you angry at them. That's how I view it. Look at that. Gorsal has been attacked and they now own it, but I'll be taking it back later. Nordland, I'll destroy you if I need to. I wonder if you do have to destroy them or if there could be any other way to end the war. I really have no idea. I didn't want Nordland, but getting up there, Filthy, was really a bit much. Okay, everyone, we're going to call it here for right now. Do leave a like down below and look forward to more later. And patrons, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Now, we've got more to talk about in the future. So check out tomorrow's video too. Later.